Hey guys, it's Head Over Heels here, coming at you from the occultist point of view. This is going to be sort of like a level up guide. I'm going to make a playlist of this, going through, you know, certain points in the game. Right now we're starting at 16, because that's after you finish the main first area, you get into the next, which we'll start talking about other stuff besides questing. Questing is the main part to get to 20. After you hit 20, you start getting more options available to you. But for now, we'll start with this questing thing, and later on, we'll be introduced to more stuff. So let's get this started. Now, a good way to quickly level up, if you don't really care about the story, um, just spam F when you talk to these guys, and you just go right through the story. Now, you have to press space to continue the quest or to complete a quest. So, like, spam a bunch of Fs, and then when you get to the end, press space, you're on to the next part. Now, when you get to these, you get to... Uh, Cutscenes. Uh, you, some of them are skippable, some are not. This one cannot be skipped, unfortunately. So we have to watch as this fucking uh, scantily clad lad checks out a scantily lad lass. Oh, scantily clad lass. A scantily clad lad lass. Yeah, he digs her. We all know it. Can we stop with the dino riding already and get to the main part? Okay, we're done. Let's talk to the gawker. Onwards! Okay. Use sprint as much as you can. You'll get a horse later. Well, soon, at least. Um... Yeah, just complete the quest as fast as possible. Yeah, that will be your main way. As I said earlier, it will be your main way of getting to it. Alright. This guy talks a lot. Jesus Christ, look at him go. Alright, here's the loading screen. Not really anything special. Looks kind of cool, though. Yeah, the helpers aren't really helpful. It just brings up the the website, and that just brings you to the main page, and just it's useless. Alright, so this is going to be explaining the trials. We've already done this before. If you watched my uh, Spirit Shaper videos, you'd know that uh, what these consist of. But they'll explain how these work, I guess. There's only four trials. This will be over quickly. Four challenges, stages, levels, whatever. This part, you just you got to fight one of these guys. Easy way to beat it is just do what this guy does. Is dodge him at the right moment. Make them run into those circles of uh, lightning, and you'll be done before you know it. So, go over here. He'll look at you. He's gonna charge. Jump out of the way. Careful that you don't run into it too. It kind of hurts. Ha ha! You got hot foot, bitch. All right, we're done with that. Awesome. Next stage. Woo! Okay. Now this one, I pretty much explained this as well in the video beforehand if you watch my spirit shaper stuff you gotta find the cunning hogshead guy I, I'd skip these videos but it doesn't let me skip them luckily they're not that long anyways you see all those dirt warriors and shit like that ignore them we want this guy so beat him up and done with or it would have been if you stopped moving Okay, now we're done. Victory at stage two. Awesome. Now we're on the stage. Now we're moving on to stage three. Okie dokie. Fucking move it. Don't. Alright, this is. As I said, just watch. If you haven't watched the Spirit Shaper videos, then, uh. This part, just avoid the oh, purple spheres, get to the end, and open the chest. You can't dodge, you can't use any skills, you can't heal yourself. So, good luck. It's not as hard as it looks. It does get challenging later uh, in later stages. Aha! Successful! Didn't even get hit once this time. Booyah! Moving on to stage four, which is the last one. Stage four will introduce the boss fights during these, uh, these trials of some sort. So, this guy's just telling you to dodge his attacks. Basically, don't be stupid. Avoid them. 
Unless you like taking damage, and I guess that's your thing. If you can take it, go for it. But, let's get down to business. Alright. Okay, I'm getting some frame rate droppage, but nothing too much. Okay, it doesn't look like my uh, freezing skills are working at all. Anyways, use your F skills, drop them quickly. Shouldn't take too long. Done. Okay. That's it. That's pretty much explaining the trials to you. Once you're done with that, boom, you can just leave you can just leave it. Alright. That's over with. Now we just go ahead and uh once these guys load their faces. Oh, you can talk to them anyway. Just spam F, spacebar, move on to the next part of the quest. It's now telling you about portals. These are going to be another actually key factor into how fast you can level up. Uh, the faster you can travel around the world, the faster you can finish this, uh, get the max level. He gives you a con, you know, you can use to... Oh, he's teaching us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's teaching us about the map. We all know how to use the map. Great. Okay, let's move on. Can we please? Thank you. Alright. Now he wants us to go over here. He wants to eat. Just keep doing whatever he wants. Buy the fish. Exit out. Get the shit out of the way. I do it first, even before he gets here. That way, he'll just sit down and you can give him the fish. Alright. And talk to him. He says, ow, ow, for some reason. I guess the food's hot. Alright, and then there's this little girl. She's asking people uh, where her group went. I don't know. And there's two guys, creepers, fucking pedophiles. Get out of here, bitch! You gotta beat them up. Uh, then uh, Akuda gets mad because they're bullying a child. Then he wants to fight him. And, uh, and, uh, but really, you're doing the work. Which isn't really a problem. Any class can drop these guys like bitches. See? Easy peasy. Then you talk to the guy, he gets salty that you kicked his ass and his buddy's ass. Bye bye. Then exit story mode. Now when you're in story mode, you won't be able to see anybody. Except you. You won't even be able to see your own party, so. Just get it over with. It's not really difficult. Pick the girl back up. Some things require you actually pressing F and waiting a few seconds. But that's not really a problem. Just then, once you're done, just spam that F button. Space bar! Alright, now we're getting down to the last part of this video I actually want to cover. It's mostly just quests from here on. I wanted to get past that trial part. And uh, show you guys how the portals work. Portals work, just open up your map. You, pick, you look for these little blue things. If they're blue, that means you already have access to them. So you can teleport anywhere you want. But they will use up... If you are not at the portal itself, they will use up these things. Uh, it's a Vanisher's Scroll, and if it uses up those, then uh, you have to go to an actual portal yourself. You can't just do it anywhere you want. Sorry. Anyways, let's go over here. This will be our first form of transportation, and the last thing I'm going to cover in this video. So, basically, for completing this quest, you get to pick your horse. You can either pick red, black, or white. It don't matter. They're all the same. They're literally all the same. See? Literally no difference. There you go. Now that's pretty much the video. Basically, I will when we get to, when I get to level 20, I'll make another video on what to do from 20 to around 30ish. But until then, I hope you guys stay tuned to my other uh, Revelation Online videos. I'll be making a lot of them. Anything from leveling up to running dungeons to PvP to just exploring the world. I'll even explain the whole flying system when we get there. But until then, I hope you enjoy your day. Bye-bye.